witches, I'm Aya D, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Emerald Tablet, which is a coded breakdown of the tenets of alchemy, which was actually discovered in the tomb of Hermes Trismegistus. If you want to learn more about Hermes Trismegistus, definitely check out my videos, Alchemy for Beginners and As Above, So Below. I'll also be working on more videos about the different lives of Hermes, but I still need so much more research on these, so please bear with me. I'm going to be reading from this book here, and it's actually a translation from various philosophers and occultists and people that were interested in learning more about alchemy. So they translated them and we have a lot of translations in here, but I actually prefer the one by um, Sir Isaac Newton because I feel like it's probably the easiest translation to understand and decode. So I'm going to be reading from that for you guys and then I'm going to decode it all for you. Tis true without lying, certain and most true. That which is below is like that which is above, and that which is above is like that which is below to do the miracles of the one thing. And as all things have been and arose from the one by the meditation of one, so all things have their birth from this one thing by adaptation. The sun its father, the moon its mother. The wind hath carried it in its belly, the earth its nurse. The father of all perfection in the whole world is here. Its force or power is entire if converted into the earth. Separate the earth from the fire, the subtle from the growth, sweetly and with great industry. It ascends from the earth to the heaven, and again it descends to the earth and receives the force of all things superior and inferior. By this means you shall have the glory of the whole world, and thereby all obscurity shall fly from you. Its force is above all force, for it vanquishes every subtle thing and penetrates every solid thing. So the world was created. From this are and do come admirable adaptations, whereof the means or process is here in this. Hence I am called Hermes Trismegistus, having the three parts of the philosophy of the whole world. That which I have said of the operation of the sun is accomplished and ended. So when you hear this, it's like, wait, what are you saying? This is supposed to be alchemy? Like, wait, you're, you're not giving me specific things. Like this world right now today is all about giving us specific things. Like we need this here right now and we need to understand it. But the thing about alchemy is the fact that it's all a coded language. And to understand the code, you have to understand more about alchemy, which is why I'm making this alchemy series so that you guys can understand alchemy as a whole. But before I go into more about the Emerald Tablet, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Keen. Keen is an app that provides access to vetted psychics and spiritual advisors to provide guidance and insight, and it's one of the most affordable ways to get instant psychic readings by a professional at any time. They have so many different types of readings, such as past love, relationship, live tarot readings, astrologers, Spanish psychic readings, and so much more. When you sign up, you'll complete a brief questionnaire which will pair you with a list of recommended psychics. It's so insanely convenient. You can choose to either text, chat, email, or call your advisor. You can also have an ongoing relationship with your advisor for monthly intention setting, gaining clarity on significance of synchronicities, chakra cleansing, and so much more. They also send online promotions on a weekly basis, such as getting a $5 free credit or buy $10 and get an additional $20 of credit, which makes readings so much more affordable when you need to connect with an advisor on a regular basis. It's so much better than seeing a psychic in person, which can cost a fortune. I'm one of those people who needs to know everything about everything. So this app is really, really good for someone just like understand your life and give you a little bit more insight on what you need. If you use my link, trykeen.com slash adwitch, you get the first three minutes with your advisor for free. It's also linked in the description box below. Okay, so now back to the Emerald Tablet. So we're gonna to go to the first part. That which is above is like that which is below, and that which is below is like that which is above to do the miracles of the only one thing. So this is basically an explanation of humanity's connection to the cosmos. It's the above and below, which is the microcosm and the macrocosm, and how the cosmos is reflected in humans. I actually mentioned more about this in detail in my As Above So Below video, so definitely check out that video for more information on this. And as all things have been and arose from the one by meditation of the one, so all things have their birth from the one thing by adaptation. When it says from one thing by the meditation of one, it's basically referencing the law of one, which is the notion that everything came from one and everything is connected. It's the prima materia, which is the first matter in alchemy. The sun is its father, the moon is its mother. This is the sun and the moon as the alchemical marriage, the union of opposites to create a balanced whole and the ultimate spiritual transformation, which is further described in the following passages. The wind hath carried it in its belly and the earth its nurse. Part one of this is actually the process of separation and purification using the element of air, the rediscovery of our essence or our intuition. This is letting go of impure or unwanted material. And part two is a process of conjunction and working with the element of earth, the marriage of the sun and the moon for grounding. The father of all perfection in the world is here. This is the presence of the cosmos throughout the entire process of transformation. Its force or power is entire if it be converted into the earth. 
Again, the earth as a grounding element. Separate thou earth from the fire, the subtle from the gross, sweetly and with great industry, or ingenuity. This is the process of fermentation and leaving the earthly realm by the inspirational willpower of fire, which transforms and frees your soul of prejudice and vice, while separating the mind and the body. This process actually changes your characteristics and raises you to a whole new level of being, which is experienced during the two stages of fermentation, which are putrefaction and spiritization. It also notes that you should do this carefully because these two processes are very difficult. Putrefaction breaks you down in order to raise you to a higher vibration during spiritization, which allows you to ultimately see the world in a whole nother light. It ascends from the earth to the heaven and again it descends to earth and receives the force of all things superior and inferior. This notes the process of distillation, the sublimation of psychic forces necessary to ensure no impurities are incorporated into the final process. It releases volatile essences and can be done multiple times to perfect. By this means you shall have the glory of the whole world and thereby all obscurity shall fly from you. This is the process of coagulation, the final alchemical process, in the ultima materia, which is the last matter. This is the resurrection of the soul, the purest essences of the body, and the union of spirit with matter. Its force is above all force, for it fingers everything and penetrates every solid thing. This is the Philosopher's Stone, or the Azoth, which possesses all powers concealed in nature. It penetrates all and can conquer any subtle thing and penetrate any solid. According to Paracelsus, it's the counterpoison to any physical, mental, or spiritual threat. It's the elixir of life. So the world was created, which is pretty self-explanatory. From this there are and do come admirable adaptations where the means or process is here in this. Again. This is why this happened. Hence, I am called Hermes Trismegistus, having the three parts philosophy of the whole world. Hermes Trismegistus means Hermes thrice great, and he embodies the three parts philosophies. Alchemists believe that human construction is threefold in nature, which consisted of sulfur, which represented the soul, mind, and fire, salt, which was the body and earth, and mercury, which represented the spirit, air, and water. That which I have said of the operations of the sun is accomplished and ended. According to Hermes, these are the operations of the sun god Ra. Hermes, who was also known as Thoth to the Egyptians, took part in the creation of the world as we know it, and turned the thoughts of Ra into material objects. He was a scribe and a messenger of the gods, and relayed divine messages to humans on earth. So that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments below if this helped you guys decode more of the alchemical mysteries of the Emerald Tablet. And remember to sign up for Keen because it's such an amazing app that can help you out in so many different ways. I'll see you guys next time.